welcome back to my channel, my name is Nadia and I'm an interior decorator. This video is dedicated to Feng Shui and particularly we'll discover a few steps, simple ways how to potentiate the sector of children and creativity. So, if this topic is of your interest, then keep on watching. In Oriental cultures where Feng Shui was born, but also in Europe, having healthy progeny children is a guarantee for good support and help at the retirement age and, philosophically speaking, genus immortality. In the Compass School, the sector of children is corresponding to direction west and, according to the Lo Shu Quadrant, it is under number 7. And although some relations may not be seen immediately, they do exist and Feng Shui is very attentive to these details. For example, if a family has not yet children, they must potentiate, first of all, the sector of relations, love and marriage, the direction southwest, to, let's say, prepare the ground for the arrival of the children, so to speak. Meanwhile, for the benefit of the already existing children, you must potentiate the sector of children and creativity. The relationship between parents and children is very important, even at energetic level. A good feng shui will ensure an auspicious ambient for the well-being of the parents, which at their return will be able to provide a good and healthy environment to raise their children well. When the relationship between the parents or the partners is healthy, is happy and is steady, it creates a good environment essential to raise intelligent and healthy kids. The western part of the house will be perfect for allocating the kids' room, the workshop and also the home office. Here is the best place to position the photo of your children, better if on the picture they are engaged in a useful activity or are at a significant event, like for example receiving a medal for their merits, uh, etc. Choose updated photos, because that's important, it uh, relies on the importance of on living in the present day, and it also uh, will be perfect to place here the um, objects of their creativity, for example, drawings, paintings, uh, sculptures, origami, uh, constructions, in other words, things that were made, created or invented by your children. This sector, by the way, is also called the sector of creativity, so it will be perfect allocating here a workshop or a lab where you or your children will spend some time on creating something new and interesting. If you are working in a field of arts, for example, being a designer, a musician, an architect, a tailor, a artist, painter or something else, Keep your best works here. Moreover, you can also keep here your best potential projects, your dreams you wish to realize. These objects will bring the maximum energy and will be the best way to potentiate this area of the house. The western direction corresponds to the element of metal. So, handmade objects in silver, gold, bronze, copper or any other metals will also be the perfect way to potentiate this area. And also rounded objects and those colored in white, silver or grey also behold the energy of the metal so they will be a perfect attire magnet for potentiating this area. And at last I have to mention that this sector is of particular importance to people having a creative profession, for example, writers, artists, painters, uh, designers, uh, stylists, etc. It will be uh, the it will help potentiate your career activity, help you get more collaborations, new contracts and the right inspiration, for example, to write a new book or an ideal uh, scenario or paint something extraordinary, etc. And as all the areas keep this sector in perfect condition, clean and organized and always, you know, good looking, appealing, because uh, the Feng Shui rules, the main rules are saying that the more area is 
clean and polished and the energy chi, the procreating energy chi can circulate freely, it will bring all the time and every time something new, something better. And you know, this is very important in all the areas of the house and here also, because creativity is something that all of us we need it. We need it in every moment of our life because uh, this is something that will, you know, bring more joy and bring something new and bring an, an air, a breeze of freshness. So no matter if your children are, you know, small and they need creativity to just develop themselves or maybe you are already you know uh, working in a field of creativity and so the the procreative energy will also help you get more in your career in your life so in any way this area of the house must be potentiated uh, there are a few uh, you know, simple ways to do that, I, as I already mentioned, so keep that in mind. That was all for today, simple thoughts and also suggestions on how to potentiate this area of the house. Uh, thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos dedicated to uh, the art of Feng Shui, which I love to read and I also want to share it on my channel. Everything that I find useful because this art is actually the principles of feng shui is very complex as a study is something that needs to be analyzed profoundly but from all of that we can actually detract some simple ways on how to potentiate uh, you know every um area of the house responsible for different sectors of our lives so in order to make it simple and to enjoy it every single day and each one of us Thank you for watching, um, subscribe to my channel and we shall see each other on my next videos. Ciao!